What's going on here, tubers? It's Eric uh, coming at you with the, another review. And I just wanted to preface this video by saying it was recorded in a hotel room on a really, really um, intense tasting night. And our notes really aren't um, on point enough. And the quality of the review is just pretty poor. Um, we went into this. This was the Velvet Speedway. The Urge Gastropub, a fifth anniversary beer. So just really quick things about this beer that I guess I didn't really take into consideration was that it was aged for one year in 23-year-old Evan Williams bourbon barrels, then dosed with a house-made rye whiskey-infused Madagascar vanilla bean concoction, as well as bourbon barrel age Jamaican Blue Mountain Coffee Cold Brew from the guys at Monster Coffee. So there is a lot riding on this beer, and um, I guess I didn't really, we just were so excited to review it. We probably were a little inebriated by uh, some of the events of the night prior, and you know, just kind of look past some of the finer details. So I really hope you enjoy the review. Keep in mind it was shot on a whim. We decided to open it last second, probably not the best, um, but yeah, this beer, you can find out at the end what we graded it. Was this worth the 510 out of 600 bottle? Yeah, was it hype or was it really worth what the back says it probably should taste like? So we'll see you again in another beer review. Enjoy the one below. Cheers. Well, it's my first uh, Cali beer review in Cali. And on point, on a review, on site, Viet, you can introduce a beer because it's your beer. Um, dude, what is it? Velvet Speedway. Velvet Speedway, guys. Yeah, you're like so nonchalant about it. Like, it's just another beer. But uh, yeah, this was uh, a collaboration beer between Ale Smith Brewing Company. You can go ahead and pour it. It was what? Barrel Age Speedway with coffee and vanilla beans? Yeah. Is it a different coffee? Jamaican Blue Mountain, I think. So, Jamaican Blue, Ball, Blue Mountain. Blue Balls. Uh, Blue Mountain. Um, Barrel Age Speedway, which I've never had. I've had the regular Barrel Age version, which was pretty ridiculous. And you can pour it on camera if you want. Um, by all means, that's perfect. Uh, so, why did they do this beer? Do you know? For Urge's anniversary, I think. Sweet. And you guys know Urge. You've been there before? Uh, no. No? Um, well, these guys told me that they were selling special speedway variant and i happen to be on my like lunch break i think sure we were talking about it that morning and i yeah. ended up having to go to a meeting to get some uh different things and uh so this is 500 uh or 510 out of 600, 600 bottles we're probably going to be sipping this in the majority of the night after you get in here man um pours out like a typical speedway i mean it's pretty 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 black, if you will. Um, what do you think of the nose? Barrel aged for days. A lot of vanilla. Two different types, though. You get like that barrel aged vanilla component, and then you get like the, they use actual vanilla beans in this. Right. Coffee. It, it kind of smells like bourbon county with coffee and vanilla, yeah. in a way. Big whiskey notes. God, is it even close to what you thought it would be? You guys were in Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're kind of doing this on a hotel, so it's kind of like a, a really raw impressions. I I don't think we really knew what we were getting into. You rated this what a top ten of all time, or top I've five? I've never had this. So had well, no, no, excuse me, speedway, excuse me, yeah. barely two to top, top ten. Five. Top five? Yeah. Damn. Let me think. I get like that creme brulee, that like marshmallow, that toasted coconut barrel note, kind of like Firestone Walker esque, but there's like that big burnt molasses and brown sugar. Oh, simple, man. Do you like the smell? Fuck yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's cheers. pretty much one of the better smelling beers of all time. So, cheers. I don't know, man. I just prefer like Coors Light. 
so much more. You're such an ass. <laughs> Some I'm people can't handle stuck stuff. Hot. Oh yeah, definitely. You can taste the alcohol. Definitely. I don't know if that would subside though, extensively, over time. Do you? Robert will know, and you'll know because we love to try Roberts. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Oh, they did with Mo it's, yeah Mastra Jamaican Blue Mountain. Can you pinpoint coffees in big ass imperial stuff like this? It's not like the subtle variations in coffee, but you can taste coffee. Like so, we had Vietnamese Speedway today. Yeah. And um, it was okay. Like, I couldn't really pinpoint it that it was a different coffee. I could. I mean, I can tell because it's like really, really roasty. Sure. Almost to the point where you're like, it's kind of burnt. And it's like, that's just how Vietnamese coffee is. You know, like it or you don't. You can get in the picture more. That appears along here. So this is, uh, this is an experience. I am not even sure how to wrap my mind around it. So like, it's barely a sweet way of vanilla. Right. And a different coffee. And I'm not like trying to demean it at all. <clears throat> is it barrel aged? Yeah. Yeah. You smell the booze? Yeah. Oh, it is barrel aged. Yeah. It's cool. I mean, like, I'm thinking like 98 plus out of 100. Just the only thing that's detracting from is the uh, big heat from the bourbon. It's really hot. Really hot. And I kind of thought maybe I that. I thought the mouthfeel would be a little thicker, too. No, it's not bad. Right. What's with that barrel aged speedway? Well, barrel aged mouth or barrel aged speedway is quite thick. Yeah. I mean, when this you is... were pouring it, I was like, and we're pouring it in hotel lighting, and I'm like, whoa, that's really like brown. Yeah. You can see the light passing through. Yeah. I mean, not extensively, but it's definitely, you can see those ruby. Barrel aged speedway, you can't see through it. It's just at all. It's sludge. Motor oil. Yeah. Give yeah, it 95. Out of 100? Yeah. Damn. Points off for mouthfeel and astringency. Well, booziness and thinness, I'm going at 95 as well. I think it's a really good score. Yeah. I mean, I don't think you can really detract it much further if, unless you really wanted to, like, micro-dissect it. It's, it's below it's below barrel age speedway, though. Yeah. Um, the hype train clearly wins. Yeah. 600 bottles. Um... What do you think, though? Five years? Is this thing going to be unbelievable? Why not they just... waxed it, dude. They never wax anything. Yeah. Taste it after a year. Well, cool. Thanks so much for bringing it. Yeah. And yeah. Um, maybe we can do some um, Google Play Hangouts beer reviews where like, you get a beer, I get a beer. Yeah. And then Edgar gets a beer. Edgar's watching baseball right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But uh, we all just like conjunction review a beer. But uh, <clears throat> otherwise, I don't know. 95 out of 100. Velvet Speedway. Sounds about right. Bye-bye. Have a good time. Peace. If you can't get this, trade I feel for sorry it? for you. Should you trade for it? Should you trade for it? Nope. Yeah, but you shouldn't sell the farm for it. Nope. Just saying.